Hello, I'm Joe Wren. House Speaker Brian Bosma laid out his caucus plan for road funding today, which includes a pair of tax increases. Part of the House GOP's plan is a gas tax increase of four cents per gallon. The proposal also shifts more money from the state's sales tax on gasoline into road funding. It covers that shift with a one dollar increase in the cigarette tax, which would be used to help fund Medicaid. A bill that addresses parent-child relationships and instances of rape passed unanimously through the House Judiciary Committee today. The new bill would allow victims of rape to terminate the relationship between their child and the perpetrator by filing a petition. This law will allow for a much better situation for everyone involved in these kinds of crimes so that the law can't account for custody when we have children born from these violent awful situations. A time limit established in the bill prohibits filing a petition that lasts between 180 days and two years, depending upon the age of the parent filing the petition. And a new pipe will be installed to reroute water away from Owensville's drinking water supply. According to Clerk Treasurer Christy York, the 110-foot-long pipeline will take standing water from a field and deliver it to a ditch, where it will it will be directed off the state's property. Even though the standing water does not pose an immediate threat, it is part of an ongoing battle with nitrate pollution. In October, Owensville considered shutting down two wells due to high nitrate levels. Here's the snowy forecast for tonight. A 70% chance of snow, up to three inches of more snow possible, lows down to 23 degrees. And then in the five-day forecast, more snow on Tuesday. Highs up to 17, partly cloudy on Wednesday, 25, warming up by 41 by Thursday. More news at double.